harder than I would have liked. But uh, give the Louisville kids and coaches a lot of credit. Um, man, they just kept battling. They, I told our guys, you watch them on film, they're playing hard, really hard. And uh, obviously, all you got to do is look at it, the, uh, the rebounding. We've had two of the, probably two of our best rebounding games of the season um, against Duke and Florida State, defensive rebounding. And I got to watch the film. Now, we played some zone, and I do think they got some rebounds against our zone. Um, but I, I don't. I don't think our guards did a good job at all tonight rebounding, and that was obviously a big factor in them having a chance to come back. Um, having said all that, I thought we played. We didn't shoot the ball well again, and um, very slow starting, some because we missed a lot of good shots again. But there was a stretch there, last 10 minutes of the first half and first 10 minutes of the second half, we played very well. Obviously built the big lead. Um, I think our defense is improving, and. Uh, we got a lot of first shot miss, obviously, so that part was really good. Um, we had some very careless turnovers down the stretch, and and uh, they made some shots. And sometimes that happens. You know, you get behind, and you're really kind of playing with a free mind, and the shots are – there's a lot less stress. Um, and I think that's part of the reason why you see comebacks in college basketball. The swings are so – so great. The team that has the lead gets a little tight, which we did, and then the team that's behind is kind of playing free. But, um, again, we'll take it. Really happy the way we played for about 25 minutes of the game um, and give the Louisville kids and coaches a lot of credit. I thought they, they really busted it and competed, and they whipped us on the glass. Questions for me? Can you talk to us about uh, Chase Hunter and his accomplishment tonight and the great game he played? Yeah, he did. You know, Chase has been playing better. Um, really happy for him. Um, he's had a lot going on. New father, um, just had a baby and is beaming from it, which I think is really cool. Um, and, uh, but I think he's played well these last couple of weeks. He's kind of coming out of it. He made a couple threes. Certainly it's been fun to coach him in his career here. He's had a lot of adversity, uh, ups and downs, especially as a young player with injuries. And then, you know, just kind of trying to find your way like most freshmen and sophomores do. Um, but he's really blossomed into a nice player, and uh, he's had a nice career to score a thousand points. Uh, speaks to how good he is, and, and uh, certainly I've enjoyed coaching him, and I'm really happy for him. How big was it to kind of get over the hump after the other day, and then not playing your best today, but yeah. find a way to win? I mean, it, you know, this is what it is. I mean, we've you know win a game and lose a game, win a game, lose a game. It just kind of we haven't been able to kind of build a streak. Um, you know, hopefully we can play well Saturday. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, again, that was an emotional, heartbreaking, brutal loss. You know, it's, and it's, it, it sticks with you for a while, just human nature. And, uh, but I thought we came out fine. Um, you know, if we make shots, we have a good lead early. Uh, now, maybe they say the same thing. If they made some of their shots early, um, you know, the game is different. But uh, I thought we got a lot of good shots. We just, again, we for whatever reason, this building, we're having a hard time making them. And, uh, but defensively, I thought we played hard. I thought uh, we, we mixed in some zone tonight, which was good for us. Um, we just wanted to try that on some BOBs. And, uh, you know, but there was a little segment. I, had, I thought a couple guys off the bench, maybe not quite as much juice as I would have liked. Um, but, you know, again, I thought the middle – half of the game we played great and that's why we had a 20 point lead with the veteran leadership that you have on the team would you like to see a little bit better killer instinct like finishing yeah and, I mean, it has sure to a couple yeah i'd love it you know but again i think yeah that's you know the killer instinct it's not you know the georgia tech game is i don't think that's a good example of killer instinct tonight is um you know we just made a couple of dumb plays on defense in the last end of the game and they made some big shots uh, this was killer instinct, and I, I was imploring them at the, you know, twelve minute mark. Let's let's not let's finish it. Knock them out right here. This is our chance. And then the next time out, let's knock them out. This is our chance. And we just we didn't get it done. And uh, again, some of that's credit to Louisville. You know, some of it is we had a, we missed some shots, um, had a couple of silly turnovers, and they're starting they started making a few, and so they got confidence and they started putting some a little bit of game pressure on us. Um, but to give our guys credit, too, we did make four free throws down the stretch. Um, got a couple stops down the stretch. You know, you, you kind of sometimes gloss over those. 
Um, you know, but certainly if the outcome had been different, we, we wouldn't be doing that. So and that's kind of what happened at Georgia Tech. You talk about the shooting that seems to be a problem. How do you snap out of that? Is it something I don't know that I know. Um, you know, I don't talk about it a lot. I don't think you'd make a mountain out of a molehill, but, um, you know, we've done a lot of shooting. Guys are coming in and shooting all the time, shooting with coaches before practice, after practice, during the day. PJ comes in in the mornings, you know. Um, you just kind of work your way through. Like Chase has made a couple here lately, and I need to make need to make as many at Duke. But um, PJ just had a tough shooting night from three. You know, I mean, I think five of the six shots are probably really good shots, and usually he's going to make at least two of them, uh, two of the five. But uh, tonight just <coughs> excuse me <coughs> didn't go down. With that said, late in the game when you needed baskets. The comfort of having PJ inside. Yeah, huge, just huge player. Was, was so I mean, cool obviously, player. yeah, he's, I mean, he's a stud. You know, I mean, he's a first team all conference player, and, you know, we're trying to go to him when we can, um, you know, and, and most of the time he delivers. I mean, he's just, that's why he's good. And uh, he makes plays at crunch time, he makes plays when you need him. He wants the ball. Um, you know, he's an outstanding player, and, um, you know, lucky to coach him. So that Alex Hemingway wasn't available at the end of the day. Yeah, he's had a little bit of a setback. It's just, you know, and it wasn't like I said that he was, you know, he was never going to play at Duke. He's, you know, he's really, he's trying, he's been trying to work his way back through it. He's tried a couple practices, you know, again, he's, he hasn't played in a full practice. He's tried, but it's, you know, it's just, this is a, it's a hard one. Like, you, you know, you kind of got to go with the player and the trainer and just, they gotta tell you how they feel, and um, you know, just he hasn't been able to get it, get it right yet. After Saturday's crushing loss, to get a hard-fought win today, what can that do to springboard you guys into the final month? I of hope so. Yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's just. I mean, you know, I'm sure our guys, we all felt a little pressure to win this game. You know what I mean? Like it's a home game, you need to win it. Um, it's you know, it's part of doing well in your league, and you're you're just battling. But I think that you know the other thing. I'm really tired of the narrative like our league. I think the narrative with our league is ridiculous. Um, and there's going to be stats, you know. Somebody said we're 9-3 and three against a Big 12. And, um, you know, it's uh, teams are different, right? Teams improve. These guys battled some good teams in the non-conference. Maybe it was they lost by a basket or two to Indiana and Texas. You know, um, those are two that just popped off my, <coughs> off my head. Um, like Georgia Tech is completely different. I don't even know what happened in their game against Carolina. Did they win? Yeah, yeah. See, like that's a joke, right? I mean, so they, they're good enough to beat Carolina, Duke, and Clemson, and like, but they're not very good. That's that's insane, right? Like, let's get some other teams to try to play, beat all three of us, right? It's those guys are freshmen are completely different, and those guys weren't even playing at the time. So it, it it's just it it's obviously frustrating for the coaches and players in the league. The narrative that is not right um, and uh, hopefully our league and everybody else will do more but you know this is what happens is we cannibalize each other and you know I, I think the net overreach it is an overreach um, because you can completely pad your stats by playing a weak schedule and winning by 40 and pad your offensive efficiency and your defensive efficiency and so the, the fact that you, whatever, they cap it at 10, but your efficiency numbers change, right? And so then the question is, like, we, we ske over schedule probably. We, we've scheduled, the last two years, we've scheduled less guarantee games. And it almost feels like it's not, you know, this year we won we're winning, so maybe that'll prove to be the, uh, the real big help. But I'm watching other teams that are doing the opposite. They're scheduling seven and eight guarantee games and winning by 30 as much as they can. And, like, their net numbers are higher than I would expect them to be. Um, and a lot of the Big 12 is doing that. Um, you know, we need to study it better as a league. If that's if that's part of the trick, then we need to study it better. Because I don't think our league does that as much, and partly because we play 20 league games. Um, and so, I again, maybe we need to advocate again for 18. Any more questions for Coach? A little tangent there. But. <laughs> <laughs> we